So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we're going over a quick topic test with a collection of some GCSE exam style questions on statistical measures 3 at foundation level. Now a copy of the questions for you to have a attempt at before watching through this video is available for you to download by clicking on the link in the description which I strongly recommend you do to see how much understanding you have on this topic. Now before we get started it's worth mentioning that there is no formal indication about whether a particular question on this test is specific to a calculator or a non-calculator paper however any questions that generally involve more complex and decimal numbers will generally appear on a calculator paper. So let's get started on this and let's just zoom in so we've got majority of it on the screen. So looking at question one it says Fred measured the height of 10 of his workmates in meters calculate the mean height. So again for this what we need to do is to simply add up all the 10 numbers. So if I add all of those 10 numbers up, which again, I'd probably easily say that this would be on a calculator, and we should have a total height of 16.02. Then from this, to work out the mean, it's gonna be the total sum, which is 16.02, divided by the total number of people, which is 10, and so if I then divide those two numbers together, I get 1.602. And again, I wanna, I'll probably just write down all the numbers rather than trying to round that number off. Moving on to question two, it says the table below shows how many cups of coffee the staff in an office had in one day at work. And it says write down the mode. And the mode is the one that is the most popular. So you can see here that the most popular number of cups of coffee consumed is going to be four. And remember that it's not 16, it's not the highest frequency, it's what group it refers to. Question three, which is on two pages, it says the table shows the times Peter takes to get home from school over a term. And the question says to estimate the mean time taken. Now this is group data, so from this what I need to do is to create a midpoint column. Call it M, call it mid, could even write midpoint, you're not going to get any marks for it uh, either way. Um, so. For this, we just need to work out the midpoint. So again, if you're not sure how to work out the midpoint, just simply add the two numbers together and divide by two, um, or you can just work out the middle number. So the minimum between 10 and 12 is 11. Then we're looking at 13, then 15, then 17, then 19 and 21. And you might find, oh, they go up in twos and there's a regular pattern, but just be mindful that the groups can sometimes change in their range. So just be wary of that because obviously that's going to import so just always just double check to make double check to make sure that you have calculated the midpoint correctly so the next thing for me then to do is to work out fx value and that's done by multiplying the frequency by the midpoint in which then you probably most likely have to use a calculator for this so here we've got 7 times 11 which is 77 7 times 13 which is 91 and then we've got 17 times 15 which is 255 and 25 times 17, which is 4, 2, 5. 11 times 19, which is 209. And 3 times 21, which is 63. So from this, what we then need to do is to work out our totals. Now, the only totals we're interested in is the total frequency and the total fx. So the total frequency adds up to 70. And the total fx you should have a total of 1020. So here the estimated mean is the total fx, which is 1120 divided by 70. And if I word that out, I should have an answer of 16 minutes. And it's really important that you do show, because it's worth four marks, you need to make sure that you're not skimping in any of the working out. Make sure you do show those workings and that you're showing your clear working out. Next question then says find the modal class. So the modal class is the one, the group with the highest frequency, and that's going to be 16 to 18. And again, just try and copy the group in all its entirety of how it's written. Sometimes the inequality can differ from the first one to the second one. So just be mindful of that. Moving on to the next one, uh, it says find the class interval containing the mean time. Well, looking at this, so if I just write C here, the median. So the median is the middle number. Now we know that we've got 70 bits of data. So the median position is going to be 70 divided by 2, which is 35. So I'm looking for the 35th occasion of when he walked home. So then looking at the frequency, I'm trying to see which total would come up to 35. So here I've got 7, 
14. So we'll just do a running total. That's then going to be uh, 31. And then that's going to be 25. So that's going to be 56. So from this, what I can then see is that the 35th house output time is going to be in this group here. So it's going to be in the 16 to 18 category. So that's what I then just need to write here. So it's 16 um, to 18. And there is my final answer. Now, in terms of working out for that, it's just a case of having a running total. So I would say for the two marks, this is probably where it would come from. And also recognizing that it's the 35th position. So personally speaking, I would say you'd get one mark for writing 35 and then one mark for your final answer for the two marks.